You ready? You ready? You ready? We're dealing with our unit step function. That's u subscript action x. And u is one unit. So if I'm going to go and I'm going to graph this g of t using our unit step function here, see, before 1 in the domain, let me draw my tick marks. Boom. Oh, that's too far. Oh, you've gone too far. Yeah, okay. So our g of t is u1 t plus 2 u3 t minus 6 u4 t. My tick marks, I'm going by twos. All right. So from zero or from zero to one in our domain, it's nothing because you haven't added anything to it. Then you get to x is equal to one. That's that little subscript down there, one. Now the number in front of u is a one. So I'm gonna jump up one unit from where? From one to three in my domain. Because my next action x u3 happens at 3. So then at 3, we see we're going to add 2. We're going to add 2 to what? The previous y value. So once we get to our action number 3, boom, we're going to add 2 units. 2 units to 1. So that's why I'm up there at 3 from 3 to 4 because 1 plus 2 is 3. Now our next action number is 4, because this is telling us when to act. That's telling us what to do. So our next action number is 4. And then once we hit x is equal to 4, we're going to subtract 6. We're going to subtract 6. Oh, I knew I should have locked that door. So we're going to subtract 6 from 3, and we do. Bam! And that's how we got down there from minus 3, and we do that in perpetuity. Who gets the end point? Its left side gets the end point. So that was graphing. That was graphing our unit step function.